Omega fatty acids. They are everywhere in the health industry, but what do they actually do? Are you choosing and using the right one? And how should you actually choose one? And if you're vegetarian or vegan, are you even getting enough of this? Stay tuned and we will talk about all this in this video. Everything you need to know about omega 3s, 6s and 9s and how to balance them and where to get them from even if you are on a plant-based diet. Now let's start with the basics. What are omega fatty acids? They are a group of polyunsaturated fats and your body needs them to carry out several functions. But here's the catch. Not all omegas are created equal and some you have to get from food. First are the omega 3s. These are anti-inflammatory and essential for brain health, heart function and even mood regulation. The omega 6s is also essential but too much especially from processed oils can promote inflammation. Finally, omega 9s. These are non-essential meaning your body can make them but they are still beneficial. So while we hear omega and think it's all good, the key is balance. When people talk about omega 3s, they're mostly referring to three types. ALA or alpha-linolenic acid, EPA, eicosapentaenoic acid and DHA, docosahexaenoic acid. But enough with the tongue twisters, here's what you need to know. ALA is found in flax seeds, chia seeds, hemp seeds, walnuts and is the primary source of omega-3 for vegetarians. Your body can convert ALA into EPA and DHA but, and this is important, the conversion rate is really low like less than 10% for EPA and 2-5% to for DHA. EPA and DHA are the heavy heaters. They support cognitive function, reduce inflammation and benefit heart health. These are found mainly in fatty fish, salmon, sardines, mackerel and algae which we will come back to. So when you are choosing a supplement, the EPA to DHA ratio matters. Research suggests an EPA is to DHA ratio of around 2 is to 1 or 3 is to 2 is ideal for anti-inflammatory effects and mood support but it can depend on your goals. For mental health, some studies show a greater EPA to DHA is more effective. For brain development, especially in infants, DHA is more emphasized. The takeaway, don't just buy any fish oil or algae oil, check the label first. In the modern diet, we are overloading on omega-6, mostly from vegetable oils like soybean, corn, sunflower, safflower, and processed foods. This throws off our omega balance which should ideally be 1 is to 1 to 4 is to 1, omega 6 to omega 3. But today, the average ratio is more like 15 is to 1 or worse. Too much omega 6 without enough omega 3 to balance it contributes to chronic inflammation, which is linked to heart disease, autoimmune conditions and more. So even if you're eating healthy, take a look at your oils and processed food intake. So what options do vegetarians have? For vegetarians and vegans, don't worry, you can meet your omega-3 needs, but you need to be intentional. Here are the best plant-based sources of ALA. Flax seeds, ground, 1 tablespoon, approximately 1.6 grams of ALA. Chia seeds, 1 tablespoon, approximately 1.3 grams of ALA. And then there are hemp seeds, walnuts, etc. And all are great. But remember, the conversion rate of ALA to EPA or DHA is inefficient. That's why many plant-based people choose an algae oil supplement. It's the only reliable plant-based source of EPA and DHA directly. Look for one with a combined 300 to 500 milligram EPA plus DHA per day. All right, so quick recap. Your body needs omega-3s and EPA DHA are the stars. Aim for a good EPA DHA ratio, around 2 is to 1 is a solid target. Watch your omega 6 intake and balance your fats by avoiding too much of seed oils and processed foods. If you're vegetarian or vegan, get ALA daily and consider an algae oil supplement for EPA DHA. Always check supplement labels for actual dosages and quality. Knowledge is power, especially when it comes to your health. If this video helps, hit the like button and subscribe for more wellness breakdowns every week. Drop your questions in the comments below. We read everyone and may cover yours in a future video as well. And don't forget to subscribe for more science-based health and nutrition content. Thanks for watching and here's to your healthiest self yet.